So one of the worst parts of flying has to be boarding a plane, right? The waiting, getting bumped by luggage and people on cell phones. And did I mention the waiting? Yes. Uh, believe it or not, airlines want you to board faster too. Not because they're so nice necessarily. Studies have shown that airlines can save up to $30 per flight for every minute cut from boarding time. Good news for everybody, right? Well, maybe. My next guest says he's discovered a quicker way to get us all seated and get all of us up in the air. He suggests loading 10 passengers at a time by alternating rows, starting from the back of the plane to, well, eradicate all the traffic jams between the people loading their luggage and talking on their cell phones and stuff like that. And get this, it took just three minutes and 36 seconds to load a 12-row plane using this method, two times faster than tests using the traditional method. Joining me now for today's Big Eye from Jackson, Wyoming, a man you may all want to hug if his idea really works, astrophysicist Jason Steffen. Jason, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, first, uh, explain a little bit more how this idea of yours works. Well, the basic idea is that traditional methods tend to have a lot of passengers in the same part of the airplane. If you call five rows of passengers at once, you're going to have 30 passengers all trying to get into five rows of seats. And so they'll end up standing in the aisle, waiting around, not being able to do anything while other people are putting their luggage away. And so the method that I propose is kind of the anti-block, where you try to get as many passengers into the aisle at the same time that can all, do, um, that can all put their luggage away at once. So if you had 20 rows in an airplane, you could send in 10 people at once, 10 people put their luggage away at once, and it streamlines the boarding process. Oh, I know that your tests were actually done on a, uh, on a plane with, with 12 seats. Would this work on a bigger jet, do you think? Yeah, I think it, it most certainly would work, and it would probably actually be a slightly better improvement in the boarding time relative to boarding in blocks to have it on a bigger airplane. And, and why do you think airplanes aren't doing this already? The airlines are just, what, they, they're not ready to try it? Well, it's probably not an easy thing to change boarding process because if you do save some time at the boarding gate, you still need to recuperate that time by adjusting your flight plan. So it's not something you can just change in a weekend. It would take some studies about where do we send an airplane once, it's, once it has an extra 20 minutes do we reroute it somewhere else, and how do we readjust all of our flight schedules across the um, country? So you can't implement it in a week, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't implement it at all. All right, Jason Steffen, uh, appreciate you coming on, and a uh, really interesting uh, discovery of yours. We'll see if it gets implemented by the airlines. Thank you. And for much more about Jason's boarding method, you can check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash randykcnn.